O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The saints who toil from place to place, spreading the gospel of God's grace, now in their heavenly homeland well, with Christ whom here they serve so well. Alert at thy command to go, and everywhere thy word to sow. They went, O Master, far and wide, eager but yet unsatisfied. Thine was the task they took in hand, Thine their good news for every land. Thine was their power and thine again, their passion for the souls of men. In your light, God, we see light. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies in his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven, your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain, your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast to give protection, O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life. And in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you. Doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil doers fall, flung down they shall never arise. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for ever, Amen. In your light, God. We see light. Lord, you are great, you are glorious, you are wonderfully strong. Begin a song to my God with tambourines. Sing to my Lord with cymbals. Raise to him a new psalm. Exalt him and call upon his name. For God is the Lord who crushes wars. I will sing to my God a new song. O Lord, you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let all your creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and it formed them. There is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be shaken to their foundations with the waters. At your presence the rocks shall melt like wax. But to those who fear you, you will continue to show mercy. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you are great, you are glorious, you are wonderfully strong. Cry to God with shouts of joy. All peoples clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear. Great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled. With the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God. To God who reigns over all. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts both now and forever. Amen. Cry to God with shouts of joy. Remember your leaders who preach the word of God to you, and as you reflect on the outcome of their lives, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same today as he was yesterday, and as he will be forever. Do not let yourselves be led astray by all sorts of strange doctrines. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. They will never cease to tell of the name of the Lord by day and by night. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of only men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would please from our foes from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High, 
you shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people the salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord, in the holy pastors you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil lord god help us to imitate the constancy of saint eusebius in proclaiming the godhead of your only begotten Son, by maintaining the faith, as Saint Eusebius taught it, may we come to share the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.